What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as Poland and we are going on a mission to try and form the Commonwealth. So hopefully you are excited to see if this works. I've had a look at the conditions needed and I don't think it, it shouldn't be super difficult. It's not like that. That's the first step. Like, But we need to make sure we do that first. Like focus on doing that. Then we'll move on to the next thing. So we need admin technology level 10, stability to be 1, and we need to gain 3 provinces. We also need Mazovia to no longer exist. And I believe it's Mazovia the vassal or the march. That's the first thing I want to check. It's a vassal, so that's all good. We can start annexing them pretty soon, I think. It's 54, so probably in a couple of videos time we'll start that process. We also need to get their opinion up, but we'll do that when the time comes. Moldavia is a march. I think, is there a... I, we lose one stability if we revoke that. But obviously, when if the time comes where it would be obviously a better option to start. But we don't need them to form the Commonwealth. They can stay on March. We need to make sure we need to gain three provinces, being Warsaw, which would be gained by taking Mazovia. And we need Danzig. And we need Marienburg here. That's all we need to be part of Poland. Or I assume maybe Lithuania. I don't know if it matters who owns them, but I will probably take them for myself. It would make sense. They're on my side of the border. I mean, Warsaw... Being part of Poland makes sense, right? But um, that's what we'll be going for. And obviously, Mazovia not existing was the final condition down there. Um, and obviously, once we annex them and we have Warsaw, that will be a big step. So Teutonic Order should be the main focus of our wars. Lithuania have one... I was looking around, I think they have one case as Belli. I didn't look at every border nation. But they have one on the Great Horde. So I'll keep an eye on that. Maybe expanding them. Oh, we've gained a... Gained one on Hungary though, humiliation, but yeah, obviously at the moment, if we were to declare war on the Teutonic Order right now, we would be dealing with the Lithuanian Order and Hungary as well. I think we would win, not really 100%, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, that is the war we need to just wait for like the best time to go after the Teutonic Order. That's basically what we're doing right now. Manpower is well over the maximum, which is good because that means we don't have to worry about this, which is an issue because currently get their loyalty up right now without messing up. I need their influence to fall. That will obviously be gifted to us through decisions we make over time. Did... I'm still confused. Oh, I think there's still war. I was going to say, I was very confused with what was going on with Novgorod, but that war is still going on. Okay, I can't improve relations with the Ottomans anymore. Seems like they're pretty good. Austria, how much do you like me? Okay, when did it say we could start this process of vast annexation? Uh, where is it? I always forget where it is. Annex Vassal. We can't start until 1454. That's five years away. So let's see how that goes. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do here? We want to... Okay, yeah, we don't need to improve those relations right now. I mean, it's already at 147, so it's not going to take too long when the time comes. So yeah, I think we're just waiting for the perfect opportunity to declare war on the Teutonic Order. That will be kind of soon, probably, because I imagine 1450 January is about two months away. I imagine that's when we might see the Ottomans do some stuff, or the Hung Hungary, sorry, try to defend some of these countries, maybe. I don't know. They're allied with the Teutonic Order, Siena, and Florence. So maybe not, but it might just get Hungary in a bit of trouble. That would be interesting. Oop, a new Pope. Cool, and yep, my truce, and everyone else's with the Ottomans, has just expired, and they're already think they're doing their Byzantine war thing. Let's just have a look. Did someone just declare war on me? What was that? Okay, we'll look in a minute. Um, Denmark is now going in to just make sure Novgorod stands no chance. The Ottomans, yeah, they're at war with Byzantium, Athens, and Serbia. I imagine they're having a pretty good time. I mean, Serbia is also in a war with Venice, so that's not a good start. Uh, yep, we have gained... Oh, humiliate rival on the Ottomans. Well, I don't need to do that right now. Scary as they are. I ain't going to try and do that. What is this? Papal State entered an alliance with Hungary. I'm just kind of seeing if Lithuania wants to, you know, um, get a case as Belli, because then we could attack one of these neighbours. Obviously, I don't... I need to... I, I want to wait. I want to get it right. I don't know. Maybe you don't want me to wait, but... Okay, Mecklenburg would join again, so we're not in a good best place. Sickness of the King, the Schlatter Estate gains 10 loyalty. That is what we need, but National Tax Modifier would go down. But it's what we need, and that will get rid of the issue... It's okay, it's not It's not the end of the world. We are making two ducats a month, which isn't great, but it could be worse. I think I'm going to focus on just getting Mazovia integrated as quickly as possible here, making sure I don't fail in these early stages. Bosnia is going to disappear by the look of it to Venice. Not sure how they can pull that off, yet when I did it, it just 
everyone got really mad at me. And look, look at that, not a single bit. Okay, a little bit of aggressive expansion. I don't know how I did it so badly. Province of Milan just really must have been worth a lot. Oh well. It's cool. It's cool. I just like looking at this map. This makes me feel a whole lot more comfortable. I mean, Austria being our only ally is worrying, because it's kind of reliant on them. But at the same time, all of this power is pretty good. I don't know how long we have to wait to... Uh, Lithuania, what are our options? Abandon personal you integrate. I don't think we want to do that. I think that just makes a giant Poland. I mean, you could probably form the Commonwealth after that. I'm not 100%, but I imagine you... I don't see why you couldn't. Those... The, the, the requirements... Oh, Muscovy has made me a rival. People are saying I should go after Muscovy early on. I know, maybe, but we'll see. They, they sometimes fall apart by themselves. Lithuania own less than 48 cities, currently 38. Okay, so don't expand them too much. But, I mean, own less than 48, so I imagine if Lithuania wasn't there, you could still form this? I'm not really sure. Our truce with Lithuania has ended. I didn't even know we had one. What do we need one for? We're in a personal union. Okay, they tell us of the pragmatic sanction. Okay. So basically, we stole their king. Is that what happened? The Lithuanian king actually just came over here to Poland, which is weird, because Lithuania is actually stronger than us at the start. But I'll let them off. They can do what they want. The end of the War of the Roses. Good job, England. You are still at war with France, though, so I'd watch out for that if I were you. Watch out for that. Okay. Do we, do we, do we start this up? Do we not? It's a big question. Austria still wouldn't join. So, we'll wait and see. I think Hungary is a little bit stronger than me. They're about equally as strong as Lithuania. So, um, I'm sure it would be fine, but you never know. Are these, what are these mountains called? I feel like that would be important to know. The Carpathians. Okay, cool. That is really tiny font. I <laughs> didn't expect to have to zoom in that much. Uh, we can build a marketplace. We can build a church. Are we going to see any significant benefits? Oh no, we, wait, why would you tell me I can build it? when And then just literally tell me straight after that I can't. We are Eastern technology, which I believe gives us a, a disadvantage. But being Poland, you know, being kind of big, it doesn't really impact us as much as some other... Oh my goodness, this is not good for Novgorod. Uh, sadly, we don't border them. I'm sure we have enough men anyway. Everything is going off to a bad start here. This is less than ideal. Hungary, you want to get into a war, please? Can you do something? <laughs> Just get into a war so that I can, you know, invade the Teutonic Order. Or Mecklenburg. Or even the other one. I don't even know. The Lithonian Order up here. We could go after them. But like I said, I mean, ah, no, because Muscovy would join. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Great Horde, I mean, we can go after them, that is who Lithuania have got a case of Belli. Does it not become mine at this point? Is there not a way to just see all the ones I have? Yeah, there is a way to do that, I don't know where it is, but you have claims. Um, yeah, I know I have a claim, but <laughs> but it it's not, oh wait, do I get another, I can have another diplomatic relation. I don't know why, but I can. Bohemia, join the team. Okay, that's good, we needed that. That's helpful. That makes me feel a little bit more confident now if we look to our west. Bohemia as well. Excellent. I was not... I didn't. I don't know why. Maybe is it our leaders? Something to do with our leader? Uh, okay, I see there's stuff going on. Finally, we get level 4 diplomatic technology. There is an institution to embrace. That's not an issue right now. We are a bit behind. I think that's due to being eastern. Okay, okay, okay. So we can now build the marketplace. Oh my goodness, we can build them anywhere. Krakow and Lublin? I have no idea. That's definitely not pronounced like that. But we'll build a couple. Increase our trade power. It's always a good start. And let's see what happens if we declared war on the Teutonic Order right now. Take Kulm. Bohemia wouldn't join. Mecklenburg would join. Lithonian Order and Hungary would join. Mm, mm, mm. Do we do this? Danzig, we need these two provinces, so it's probably not going to be taking too much this war. Is any of it in the HRE? This is, so I'll probably let them keep that, but we'll have to take this stuff. Okay. Lithuania, Mazovia, Moldavia. I'm going gonna, gonna to wait. I, want, I think next time that one of them won't join on the enemy side, I'll join. I'm not waiting particularly for Bohemia or Austria. 
I don't think Austria would ever declare war on Hungary. They might, but it's unlikely. I mean, they might take over Hungary at some point, which would be really helpful. They could lead... Wait, Regency Council. Yeah, if they could have ended up in a PU with Austria, that would have been helpful, but also kind of scary. <laughs> it's a mixed bag, but... Oh, Denmark's over here, which will at least... That tends to coincide with Muscovy having a difficult time, but no guarantees. Uh, do we go after the, ooh, another 10? Okay, admin level 4. There we go. Ooh, to everlasting friendship. What has happened? With the union of Casimirs and Anna, we have gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally in the realm. What? I don't exactly know what this is doing, but it seems to be helping. And we got a new, new heir called August. 323. That's. At least we have an heir. Oh, he's got. Oh, his consort is Anna. There we go. I forget about all this stuff because obviously we've been just playing as Virginia, <laughs> where you just have a governor. You don't have all of this stuff, but we have an heir now. Oh, which is good. He is an. She is an embezzler. That. That's not. Not the best trait, but. You know, we've all got to do something, I guess. Okay, what was I... I was trying to think of something I really wanted to do, and I've completely forgotten. Estates. Uh, everyone is... Yeah, everyone is normal again. That is good. We've fixed everything. It is no longer an issue. Crimea. Can we go after them? Wait, can I fabricate claims on people that I want? I mean... War with Muscovy might be a good thing. I'm not really sure. Just, like, weaken them while we can. They want to be my ally. Now I feel bad, considering going after them. Crimea would allow us... I don't want to strengthen Lithuania too much, but I would like to break the Lithuanian Orders Alliance, if that is possible. The problem is it's going to now drag me in with Muscovy. Might be more issues than it... Ooh. Break Alliance. Oh, okay. I can't break... Oh, I forgot being a great power. I can do this stuff. Let's see if I can do it with any of these guys. Break Alliance. Mecklenburg, no, no. But what if I went to Mecklenburg? Bear in mind, I have no idea where that is. It's two provinces. I'm not that scared of them anymore. Uh, can I break your alliance with the Teutonic Order? No. I don't get... How does this work? So is it no Casus Belly? Okay, so if we have a Casus Belly, that helps. That's interesting. Um, uh, I'm tempted. I'm so tempted, but I don't know how it will go. Uh, okay, one thing we can now do, I believe, is... Mazovia, Annex Vassal. Okay, we just need to get the relations up now. So if we can improve relations with these guys, and like I said, annex them, and then we can get another alliance, that would be a good place to start. Tempted. Oh, I want to boost my stability, but I can't, because I was going to say, we could turn Moldavia. We can annex them early on, too. I'm not, I don't need to, but it could be a thing. And at least then I'm in control of the border with the Ottomans. That's all I'm thinking. I don't know. The Ottomans... Still got a lot of stuff to do out here in the east before they get super terrifying, but they're still pretty scary right now. They they won't be leading. Ming is leading, but they're third. We are fifth. I assume this includes everything from Lithuania as well. Also, why is our... Anyone else see that? Why is ours... Why is our tech cost 103? I think that's a problem. I don't know why it's 1% lower. Unless it's a difficulty thing, but as far as I am aware, I'm on the regular difficulty, the middle one. So I don't see why it would. It's a bit weird. Okay, come on, Mazovia. Did I even start improving relations? Yeah, I did. It is going up slowly. It must have fell over like the time that I was gone. No, he's been doing it for a year. Yeah, it must have fell in the time I wasn't doing it, if that makes sense. In the time since I last spoke about it. Okay, France kicked out Britain pretty well. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to... Keep checking this. Just keep checking. They'll still join. Like, if one of them, even one of them drops out, I think I'll give it a go. So I'm aware I might get called in to do stuff for Austria, Bohemia as well, which will be just basically keeping up our discipline and stuff. Is it discipline? I don't know. Something. Obviously, if you fight more, your soldiers fight better. That, For whatever reason, that's how it works. Tell there's people... There's, there's, there's people watching this video who hated that description, and there's also people who are like, yeah, that, that makes sense. I already know this game. That, that makes a bit of sense. Thank you. <laughs> and there's also some people who are like, 
steam's coming out of their ears that they're not happy that was terrible okay but that is going to be it for this episode things are getting interesting be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you've enjoyed be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one